Okay, so in honor of the Japanese Grand Prix that was held today on uh, October the 8th, 2017, we are going to have ourselves a little fun with the Ferrari SF70H, uh, which was released as part of the DLC pack in September 2017 for Seto Corsa. The purpose of this really is to just see, just have a little fun with the car and see what's going on. I have a setup here which is. Um, very very basic we're putting the car on super soft so I'm not messing with any of the tire pressures leaving the default fuel on uh, the electronics I've got it set on linear so that it gives me a set amount of power I have quite high uh, recovery on there right now because so we're just doing some practice laps uh, we're not really trying to set the fastest of times change, change the brake power here uh, just reduce the braking pressure a bit and uh, mess with the bias and I also lowered the car just a tiny little bit just one notch um, so let's take the car for a spin and see what's up. Uh, we start off with uh, fairly cold tyres. So we're going to have to take this a bit easy just to see what's up. But it's a very, very nice car. I have the steering set at 210 degrees of rotation. Uh, which gives me really nice tight steering. I find myself to be a better driver like that. So uh, the post that we're racing against here is 1 minute 43 seconds I believe which is uh, very slow. The qualifying time for this circuit was something in the region of, um, I believe it was 1 minute 27.3 set by Lewis Hamilton where he got his uh, 70th pole at the weekend. So the times we're going to be doing here are going to be really, really slow. Definitely our first lap is going to be fairly slow because I uh, just want to warm the tyres up. And I don't really intend to be pushing too hard for the first few laps. Just see if we can like gradually take down some of that time. Obviously the car weighs a lot more than it would in qualifying as well. Uh, which I can't really mind because obviously it's more just about laps than setting in times. It's funny actually, uh, I spend a lot of time on social media looking at the different comments that people make about Formula 1 drivers and they see some very disparaging things to say the least about who's terrible and who isn't but really, like, these guys are all some of the best drivers in the world and these cars are definitely not easy to drive, not even in simulation bearing in mind that I have like minimal feedback on my wheel here, I'm using a TMX Thrustmaster wheel so even with the first feedback set on 100% like you don't really feel the same as what these guys feel in the car going over every little bump with your butt like 10 millimeters from the ground it's a completely different feeling for these guys so I mean they don't have to explain to anybody how good or bad they are they're absolutely brilliant and even just being on the simulator just taking some time it's uh difficult for me to get anywhere near the times that they actually set. So uh, I'm just goes to show you how good that they really are. But then we're just taking it a bit easy. Just getting to sort of feel out. Oh, running a little bit wide there. Oh, slip right out. Oh well. So this lap's not going to count. Go slow, get the spirit off my tires and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just so easy to just slip up, just at any given point. Just the tiniest lapse of concentration and it's all over. And I mean, these guys are going around changing all these little knobs on their steering wheel. I had the benefit of being able to go on a Ferrari simulator in um, Italy earlier this year. Uh, using the 2016 simulator for the simulation from that. And I mean, these steering wheels are crazy for real. It's not the same thing as you've got like with your little TMX set up in your bedroom or whatever. Like they've got like all the controls to a computer. Just right in front of it. I mean I could barely find a DRS one. Bearing in mind that the simulator is throwing you around, you still don't get full G force or anything from the simulator, you're obviously just being uh, bumped around, etc. And just with that alone, you can't even it's difficult to find where the DRS is. I can't imagine like hearing some of the uh, orders that these guys give them switch to mix this and switch on to mode blah 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 like how they even begin to find that i don't even know while spurting along at ridiculous speeds so even that guy who gets lapped at the end of the race realistically he's only got to be like two seconds slower than the leaders per lap 
and that's all it takes for him to get lapped by the end of the race. So I really, really do appreciate and respect what these guys do. Um, I just wish I was better right here. But that's okay. So again, we're just still taking it easy, just getting a bit awkward there. Probably switch the if I can remember which button I've got it on. Ah, that's it. Switch this into charging mode on my uh, MGUK just to get back some power. And I think we're gonna go for a slightly faster lap. We're gonna at least try and beat the ghost. I mean, as I said, they qualified on one minute twenty-seven point three. I'm having difficulty keeping up with a post that I set at 1 minute 43, which is what 16 seconds off the real time. Having said that, again, I'm not really pushing, I'm just trying to stay on right now. In fact, you can see by the, uh, the left front tire there how cold it is that I haven't really pushed at all. In fact, the front tires are pretty cool in general. Do one more lap of charging. Get these tires up to speed. Oh, I guess not. Alright, so we're just going to warm the car up on this lap here. So I'm going to just brake heavily into the braking zones, etc. Not that that's really much of a braking zone. We're just going to get everything warmed up. And then we're going to try and go for a better run. We're going to at least chase down this ghost anyway, if nothing else. So again, I'm not out here to be a superhero today. I just want to see if you get this car around the track. Within 15 seconds of the real bags. So thankfully we've gotten the tyres up to temperature almost, the front's a bit cold but we'll fix that in a second. That left front there. So I've been calling this bend 190R but apparently it's 130R so I don't know, I'm going to have to uh, Google it to see what's up. But hopefully we can keep it together in this lap here. Got a decent one in. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. I really don't want to go barreling into this first turn here. So I'm just going to back off a bit. So easy to leave the car there. So easy. I'm staying six here. into five, turn in the heavy baby. Still wasn't really full throttle around any of that. And they come hurting through here. At the weekend, uh, Valtteri Bottas went off just right by the, uh, the bridge there. Just pushing just a little bit too hard. Sometimes I'm worried about the car sticking the Flying into that hairpin there a lot of the time. It's uh, not fun. 
As you can see, we are miles behind our first car. And I don't feel anywhere near as confident as to really get behind him yet. So we'll see. Our best lap so far was a 146 on this session. So the post is 143. So we're at least ahead of that time. Get a bit braver on the brakes here. I'm using the original Thrustmaster TMX pedals, so they're the uh, plastic pedals, so they're uh, a little bit spongy, as it were. There's not really a ton of pressure coming up, so it's hard to know sort of what you're doing, really. I'm just staying fifth here. Work the car up, keep it in six. Stay in six around here. Drop it to fifth. Oh, totally messed that up. Most important, we didn't go off the circuit, which I'm happy about, so we lost all that. Let's see. Okay, so unfortunately we are over a second down on our previous lap time, so you always messed that, uh, mess that up there, despite the dead moves, but I don't know, we have enough fuel to go around and I'm very, very gentle on the tyres, so there's a lot of these superstars still left, so they're still going to be fairly grippy. I didn't go to Ultrasoft because they weren't using Ultrasoft at the weekend, so I figured at least I'd keep some of the similarities, uh, even though the colours are wrong on this. There is a thing to, to change the colours of the tyres, uh, but honestly I can't be bothered to play with that. I can imagine they would get their red for a week for me. Alright. Oh, and we're still probably charging on the MG. Okay, so I'm going to switch that over to linear, give us a little bit more punch. Forgot about that. Oh, you see? Nearly leaves the car there. So easy to slip out. turned on from the MG UK unit we're going a lot faster already but we're actually wasting it so I'm going to switch it back onto charging for now just let that build up unfortunately there's not uh, there's only one heavy braking zone to give to build some of that back up it over here into balance high speed for now that'll do for a second. Let's see if we can set a good one this time. Taking it really really easy here into the first. Too much curve can ruin your day seriously here. Yeah. 
so we're gonna see if we can catch the post between now and the end of the uh, lap. Oh, took way too much curve that time. I'm gonna hang it in fifth this time. So it's saying that we're 1.6 up on our previous lap. Oh shit, completely running wide there. Hang on full tilt. I'm gonna try break it just a little bit late. And it looks like we are no so close. So close, we don't beat the old post. So that's a 1 minute 41.2. So it's still not even into the 130s yet. I know it's going to require me being a lot braver on the brakes under into turn 1 and 2. It's just so scary and so easy to lose the car. Oh, well, this is where uh, Lance Stroll had a problem in the race. He lost the tyre here. I'm still trying, and Roman Grosjean had a problem here as well. It's so easy to see how it can happen. Like, as soon as you begin to lose the pipe just in one section, it takes you a while to get it back. And just in doing that, it's a complete pain. You lose so much time. I'm not doing too badly behind our previous post. I think I want to stick this MGUK back onto uh, charging for now. We're going to accept that we burned this lap. See if only we'd have had this, uh, this turn to lock down like this in the previous lap, it would have been beautiful. But, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. And now we're charging, so the extra punch for the engine we give isn't there. It's okay. We'll live without it for now. car actually breaks up and we run wide and completely screwed up. Alright, so let's see, just with the unit on charge, how we're going to be able to do your braking zones completely change with that. It requires uh, less distance, less braking distance when the MG UK is not working but the downside is you've got like way less power it's okay because as you see we were able to hang on there yeah the wheels spin a lot less when you don't have the extra electric motors given it so already we're up the unit's only charging, but way more confident on the braking. Way more confident in the acceleration coming in and out of the turns. But as you can see, the post catches us there where the power is required. speed or cut that mode, that's what we want. Be a little bit more ginger on the gas. Just on the way out and here we are into 140. Oh, and I completely forgot the DRS then, I think. But whatever. Okay, I think we've still got to be up on our previous time here. Catching the car really quickly there, trying to get away from me. Oh, run completely wide. So I messed that one up.
Alright, so we're going to have another stab after messing that previous attempt up. So, I'm going to set back my long run setup, but instead of doing what I did with the fuel before, I'm actually going to come and drop the fuel down to about 20 litres. Okay, so, so that I'm not driving around for a million years trying to get rid of most of that fuel there. Uh, everything else is just the same way as it was before. One warm up lap, and then we are basically going to go for it and see what's up. I'm just going to have to be a bit brave. But it is, again, it's so easy to just lose this car, like... And with my spongy plastic brakes... They're definitely not the best. I think this MG UK is on... Right, I'm gonna put it on hot lap. Actually, I don't want it on hot lap for now. I want it on charging because all we're doing this time is warming up the tyres. Because we are in a simulator and not on a game, so... Obviously, these factors are hugely important. So I think we're doing nicely here to warm these up. Stress them out a bit. Which is just what we're looking for. And they're almost there. Hopefully not to make any more silly mistakes on this next run. And we are going to put the MG UK into heart mode, heart lap mode, sorry. Just to get that extra bit out, save me a little bit of effort. I won't have to be quite as precise because I can make up some of the time. And all we're trying to do is just get into the 1 minute 30s today. That's it, maybe I'll come back another time when I'm braver and a bit more of a master of the circuit if that will ever happen and uh, hopefully we can try and get something a bit more similar to the real guys so we're just putting it into hot lap mode now one of the tires the left front is still a tad cold but I don't know we'll work around that it's not the end of the world to put the DRS on I'll let's like get the wheel straight before we do that because unfortunately this will fling you straight off the road Okay, me and my spongy brakes. Let's just knock it into fifth nice and early. Still not even close to full throttle around there. And it's funny because on 21, uh, F1 2017, sorry, you could pretty much bang the car straight around there, but Again, it's the difference between what's somewhat a game versus a simulator. Um, and don't get me wrong, I totally enjoy F1 2017. Love it. Always want to have it. Uh, but I am aware of the differences. And uh, this at least provides you some sort of a bit better understanding of the realism of the cars and how they really handle them. Uh, having said that, Codemasters have done a great job with F1 2017, but uh, if I know what the car is really like, yeah, I'm definitely coming to a Sato Corsa, and uh, this is the official one, so I'll take that. The other thing is uh, Ferrari actually used Assetto Corsa's graphical engine for their simulators, which was something that I found out earlier this year, uh, actually at their museum where I tested out the... Uh, simulator I was able to find out that that's what they use I was quite stunned actually uh, but all of the information that they use to provide all of the stats etc oh and we make it into the one minute 30s just like we wanted to uh, yeah all of the uh, information that they use is programmed by one of their test drivers or sorry the information is gathered from their test driver and programmed into the system so it only uses the graphical engine of a set of voice on uh, but it was very very familiar using that uh, at least what I could see on the screen anyway so it was really nice uh, to test that out but trying out the F1 simulators really does make you understand that these guys are absolutely phenomenal dudes 
like each and every single one of them even the guy that comes 20th place every week like he's an absolute star and didn't get there by accident I don't think we're gonna catch the ghost this time I should have changed this back into charging as well we're gonna give it one more lap after this we're gonna like uh, see where we get to but we've already hit the 1 minute 39 just under the 140 so I'll take that for now but we do the charge up see if we get enough do one more lap Way too early there. They're trying to make the most out of it. Uh, I guess that one more lap's gonna actually have to be two. Why did my uh Yeah, just to get some more charge. Just to give ourselves a decent amount. Try not to slip off before then. Hopefully not. Ooh. Ah. Okay. So we're gonna do that. I think it's charging really slowly as well. Break a little bit extra hard to try and get some more into the uh, some more energy into the, the pack. Take full advantage of this hair pin down here. Really bump the crap out of the brakes there. And we've got like I think one more heavy braking zone by the end of the uh the lap. So hopefully that'll put us back almost into full charge. Then we'll try one last flying lap, see if we can get any load in this 139.9. And if that's possible, great. If not. No worries, we'll try again some other day. But it was just nice to be able to just test out the car and as a fan just having fun with it and having just watched the race and being able to uh, test out the cars where these guys actually race. So it's really cool. Alright, so we're going to go for it this time. Okay, we've got it in hot lap mode, got the DRS on. 8th gear try and keep it nice and tight here oh running over the curb there which really compromises us going into this oh and I ran it out messed up the lap already put it back on charge all right so I lied I guess we're doing one more lap after this let's get that back on charge so we're not wasting the oh and the fuel's gone down so we're gonna be extra light too all right so I guess it's the perfect time to screw it up so we can give it a shot see what happens brake heavily here I get some energy back into the the battery. Take this nice and slow, nice and simple. Hit the gas. Let's get out of here. Still charging. I'm gonna break into this 130R here just to, uh, just to give us a little bit of energy. Heavy braking here. Okay, now we're gonna go for it. Hot lab mode, let's see what's up. Tires are cooled right down, I didn't even know what I was doing there. Properly messed that part up, but never mind. Just a slight touch. Down into fourth, back into fifth. Car trying to get away from me a little bit there. I'm gonna take fifth here. Take fourth here. I, don't, I think they take fifth for real around there, but whatever. Compromising myself, cutting the point on.
run wide. Same area Blackfast did it at the weekend. Trying to lose the back end right there. So our only hope down here is just the uh, the battery and the lightweight of the car is enough to catch in the straights, which it doesn't look like it is. So I think we've totally messed those laps up. Oh, maybe the power is going to help here. In, in with a chance still. It's not over to the fat lady things, I guess, still, right? Trying to change that gear right at the end there. Yes, looks like we're gonna do it just barely. But the DRS sun just quickly, yes. New time 139.257. I'll take that. Totally happy with that. So that's 12 seconds off the road, guys. It's not bad. Still not fully confident with the car, but uh, in time it will get there. So yeah, that was great. Thanks for watching, guys.